This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi everyone, so the question is, how do I set up my Shopify to be able to take custom orders uh, where a customer can upload an image and customize a product so they can purchase it, see what it looks like before they purchase it. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, if there's a really easy way to do that, um, you're going to have to use an app. There's a few different types of apps that you can use uh, through the Shopify App Store. The one I recommend is Customify uh, Product Customizer. They offer a free plan um, and they also offer a 14 day free trial of their pro plan. And I will put a link of this in the uh, comments of this video so you can uh, see what this looks like and kind of do your research on it. But what it, pretty much what you do is you just click Add App, which I've already done. And after you add app and install it, uh, you're going to come to this page. Uh, so the first thing you need to do, there's a little bit of setup with this app. You need to install the app into your theme. Uh, so pretty much what you need to do, and I have this next section here. After you click Install into my theme, um, you can have them do it for you. It's a free installation service uh, by Install for me. Okay. Or um, they do have this warning here. Um, you're definitely going to take a backup copy of your current theme just in case something happens. That's always really good practice if you're working on a live site. Um, and if you have a lot of data there, definitely take a backup of your current theme. So if anything goes funky, you'll have that back backup to uh, restore your site. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to click install here. So I'm just going to click install. And it's going to um, add these little snippets here uh, to my theme files. And we're going to make that load up here. Awesome. So it's like customize, uh, Customify files installed successfully. And then there's just one more step. And you need to insert this code right here. So I'm just going to copy that into this file, which they've already, uh, all you have to do is click it. It takes you right to this uh, theme file. And it says right before the closing head tag. So I'm going to click into this. And that's loading. Awesome. So this is my theme liquid. And so we're going to just scroll down until we see this tag right here. Oops, I think I went past it. So this is the head. And we're just looking for the end tag here. There it is, right here. So you want to start right before the end of this. So right here, uh, we're going to add just a little bit of a comment here. So it's a curly brace plus a percent sign comment, another percent sign, and a curly brace. Um, and I'm just going to write, this is the code to help my Customify app work. So if you ever uninstall this, this is where we can find it easily. So if we need to remove it we can definitely do that. And then we're gonna close this comment the same way we added the comment with end comment and curly back. All right, just like that. And now we're just gonna add the code, copy paste. There you go. And we're gonna hit save. Awesome, so that's been saved up. We're gonna close out of that. And we're gonna refresh this page. Make sure everything's working good. All right, awesome. So if we go to, actually, I believe I could have just stayed in that section. Uh, but anyway, it's in your apps, customize, product customizer. And I believe with the free version, you can customize up to seven products. If you need more uh, than seven products, you'll probably have to get the pro version of this. Uh, or you can try different apps as well. Um, I believe I saw another one. I believe it's $10 a month uh, with different types of features. All right, so awesome. So what you can do, you can uh, import. If you have a bunch of products, you can import them, or you can create custom products, okay? So this is the account overview, current plan free, okay? So custom product, zero out of seven, all right? And you can take up to 10 custom orders. Uh, through the free plan of this, okay? 
Um, and then also the storage is 0.25 gigabytes. So this is uh, when customers upload files, um, it can hold up to 0.25 uh, gigabytes, okay? So if you click create products, Awesome. All right, so this would is where you would uh, add your products. So you just click Create New. Okay, it will search all your products that you have in your store. I just have this one, so I'm just going to do Test Product. Add that all up in there. All right, awesome. And that's how you do it. Pretty pretty simple. Uh, pretty easy to do. That's going to add it right to um, and be able to for people to customize it. Uh, they can add images to it. Say you have, um, a, if you sell mugs, um, you just have a, a blank uh, mug up in your product. Um, people can um, upload their images, see what it looks like before they purchase it. So it's a, uh, definitely a great feature. If you have any questions, let us know and have a great night. Hi everyone. So the question is, how well, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.